What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Motor Drive Electivire team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, Electivire, super dope Pokemon, has this ability Motor Drive, where every time this thing gets hit by an electric move, it is going to get a plus one speed boost. So we're pairing it up with Choice Specs Me Ride On to use Discharge, doing big time damage, and at the same time, making Electivire super fast. But let's talk about Electivire for a little bit. It's got the Fairy Terror type with Assault Vest as item, Rocket Ice Punch, Wild Charge, Rock Slide, and Terror Blast. Great move set, has a lot of coverage moves and one big time stab move. I feel like we're gonna be thriving out with this Pokemon today. Now, my ride on, on the other hand, is just big time stab damage. Obviously, it has choice specs like we already mentioned, and furthermore, it's got Head Run Engine to pop that electric terrain. It's got Electro Drift with Electric Terror type, Trigger Meteor, Discharge, and Bolt Switch. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are pretty meta Pokemon. You got Whimscott for support, Tailwind, you got Ursaluna and Frigorare for Trick Room purposes. Last but not least, you have the GOAT. We have Incineroar over here for Intimidates and Fake Outs. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's go showcase Selectivire in ranked Regulation G. Going up against a dope Kyogre team in match number one, they got Frigorath, they got Iron Hands, they got Reggie Draco, Comfy, Kyogre, and Talonflame. So chances are, if I'm thinking about this, they're probably going to lead Talonflame for Tailwind, right? I feel like it's got to be Talonflame or, or Rigorath. So I think, honestly, just going into me right on and when we got two pop Tailwind and then maybe Encore that Talonflame into Tailwind could be good for us. That's something I like, but I like to. I would also like to bring Electivire in the back in here, just because Electivire is just a great Pokemon, especially pairing up with Miraidon. So I'm gonna bring in both of them, and then last but not least, probably go into Incineroar or maybe Ursaluna. What would be our best bet here? Would it be Ursaluna? It could be Ursaluna, just in case they want to pop Trick Room. Do we think they're gonna pop Trick Room? It kind of looks like they could. I'm gonna bring Ursaluna just in case. I think Ursaluna is definitely a play. As much as I want to bring in Cinderor, because I think Incineroar is going to be really solid, I just think the combination of Rain and the chance of them pop a Trick Room is likely. I just think bringing Ursaluna could be a great addition to the squad here. So, looking to get things started off hot here, let's see who they lead. Because if they lead Talonflame, they're going to Tailwind, we're going to Tailwind, and then we could just Encore, or I can swap a Discharge. It's really up to me. It is really up to me, but I might just choice into Discharge here, and just start getting after it. That might be my best bet. Let's see, they're gonna go Frigorath and Reggie Draco. That's fine by me. I mean, no Tailwind for us. We might just swap into Electivire. Or we could just honestly Electric Terror and look to just dump on both of them, do big time damage. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Discharge here. I'm gonna send it. And honestly, I could Moon Blast. I think I just swap into Electivire here with Assault Vest. I like it. We'll save for Wimscott with Focus Ash. We will save Wimscott. We'll just swap straight into Motor Drive Electivire. We'll save our Wimscott because this uh, Wimscott could come up clutch. If we need to waste out a turn in Trick Room, we could just sacrifice Wimscott instead of just killing it right now, you know? I'm going to swap into our Electivire. Get things cooking with him and we'll put that Electric Terror on our Dome. Just so <clears throat> any Dragon move won't be super effective. Or Fairy move because Free Graph sometimes do rock uh, Dazzle Bleed. So I could see Reggie Draco protecting. I could see Trick Room pop out here. And neither's gonna happen. So Discharge gonna fly. We're gonna get a Motor Trap speed boost. Hopefully they're not popping Trick Room. Or hopefully we can just KO this for Rigorath, right? How much damage does this Discharge doing? It KOs the Frigorath. That's massive. That's massive. So now my Electivire is super fast. Probably gonna outspeed most Pokemon. Let's say bring out Talonflame. He's going for a Dragon Energy, which both of us should soak. Awesome. Lovely. Not a bad turn for us. Reggie Draco's gonna lose some HP. I wonder who they're gonna bring out here now. Maybe Kyogre? I doubt Kyogre, right? I doubt Kyogre. I doubt it, Kyogre. Let's see. I feel like they might just cancel the battle here. <laughs> like this is this is a pretty hot start for us. So they get rid of their Frigorath. They do end up bringing out Kyogre. Now the thing is with Kyogre here is if you're choice, you're gonna outspeed me. If your choice, I don't think your choice though, because your ride on's rather fast. And same thing with you, you're, you're boosted speed now. Now something I could do from here is I could just drop a discharge, which I am gonna do. And it's gonna one tap the Kyogre unless it terrestrializes. Now if it's gonna terrestrialize, I feel like it's, it's going to terrestrialize into grass. 
right? There's usually two terror types at Kyogre Rock. Water and grass. If it's Rasslize in the water, Miraidon is just going to rip up through it. Unless it's Chewy Scarf, like I already said. But if it's Rasslize in the grass, Ice Punch can really help us out. So we're going to go into Ice Punch. And no, they're just going to stay on here. So we're going to say bye-bye to both of these guys. Thanks for playing. This first match super easy. Super easy for us. A bit too easy. Kyogre, gone. Reggie Draco, gone. Get them both on out of here. It's going to be a sweep for us in match number one. No problem. Selectivire just coming along for the Miraidon show in this match. But he was ready to... He was ready to ball out. He was ready to ball out. He was ready to ball out. So taking out their two big Pokemon, we had a Black Devire Ice Punch in just in case. And yeah, like I said, as long as that Kyogre wasn't Choice Scarf, we pretty much just win this game. But the final Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands. I'm not too worried about this thing. I mean, it can soak up some discharges. I might hard swap me right on. Because chances are, if you're going to do anything, you might fake it out. But I think you just cancel battle, right? I'm going to hard swap into Ursaluna. And then just go into a nice punch here. Yeah, I think you cancel battle regardless, so. No, you don't. You're going to stay in here for a little bit. You're going to stay in here for a little bit. So we hard swap our Miraida. I'm playing it smart, playing it safe. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's going to Terra. Is this going to be a Grass Terra? Is my Ice Punch going to be even better? Let's see. No, it's Ground, but that works. That works. I would think you'd be going after, uh... You'd be going after me right on here, unless you're rocking like EQ or something. I don't know what you got cooking. Ice Punch doing a nice chunk of damage. And then you are rocking EQ. A surprise, surprise. So actually, Nectavirus is going to die here. We don't get the sweep. We do not get the sweep, but I have my Ursula now here. And now I can go back into me ride on and just rip a Draco Meteor, right? It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty standard here. It's pretty standard. The good thing I actually did swap there instead of just going for Discharge. We would have lost both our Pokemon. We, we would have lost both. But I'll go for Blood Moon. I will go into a Draco Meteor. And that's going to be game. Draco Meteor lands, no problem. I mean, Rhydon has my back all day. So, 1 0 to get things started. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to go back to back. Looking for another win here in match number two. We are going up against Amy Rhydon squad, just like us, with Rock Ogre Pond, Furigarap, Whimsicott, Iron Hands, and Ursaluna. So their team looks very Trick Roomish, right? Their team kind of screams Trick Room besides Whimsicott and Me Rhydon and Ogre Pond. So it's kind of half and half, to be honest with you guys. But I mean, Ursaluna is going to be a great Pokemon for us. I do like Incineroar here for the lead as well. So honestly, I might just lead Incineroar. I might just leave Incineroar and maybe like Choice Specs me right on and look to just do some crazy damage up against their Pokemon. They could lead Iron Hands, but in this case, I can just fake it out and just go after that for a grab if they want to end up leading it. So I like that. We're going to go into that. We're going to bring Electivire in the back end. And last but not least, if they're going to pop Trick Room, we're going to need Ursaluna, right? So let's bring out Ursaluna. Now, Ursaluna is just so strong. They're probably going to bring in their own Ursaluna, but I'm telling you right now, my Ursaluna, way better than Ur their Ursaluna. We're kind of curious to see who they're going to lead because if they lead. For Vigora, if we can't fake out. But I love to just go into that electric tower and dump on that thing, right? I would love to. And they're gonna go Iron Hands for Grab, so this is where we get a little tough. This is where things get a little tough. So they can fake me out. They could mmm. I don't even want to trash at this point. Do I want to trash into electric? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it, because their smart play here would be just like. Their smart play would just be fake out my ride on to the get off trick room and terrestrialize. But I mean, I could terrestrialize and maybe just go for the Electro Drift. I'm just going to go straight for Electro Drift here. So I'm going to go Electro Drift. I am actually just going to play the burn game here on Iron Hands and just burn some physical attackers. I think that's in our best interest. But let's be honest, they're faking out my ride on. And if they're going to terrestrialize, my knockoff isn't going to KO the Frick Rift. So I'm just going to go for the burn into Iron Hands here. And they don't even do that. So I probably could have knocked off and picked up some big time damage. It's whatever. They get off Trick Room. No big deal. I'll take a burn on, on this Pokemon all day. So we burned the Iron Hands here. I like that. I like it. And Frigraph's gonna pop Trick Room. We already know that. And then Iron Hands is gonna swap. So while Iron Hands is swapping, I think we swap and re ride and bring out Ursula and Over. Definitely in our best interest. And then we can go for a knockoff into Frigraph. I'm all about that. I'm all about that. So I'm gonna bring out my Ursula and We're gonna save our Motor Drive Pokemon for the back end. And I'm just going to rip a knockoff in that slot so iron hands really isn't doing much here it's it's definitely swapping out here it's definitely swapping out so we get out of ursula and i kind of hope it doesn't swap out i hope it stays on the field a little longer and it does he's gonna go for a source hand so he's only plus one on attack while being burned right now 
which isn't bad. He's going to pop a Psychic. Ursulina should soak decently well. Actually, not decently well. That actually did a huge chunk of damage with a special attack drop. The knockoff flies here, which actually didn't really do that much damage at all. Wow. Wow, that thing's soaking. That thing is soaking. All right. Hmm. What is my play here? What is my play here? Because Ursula and how slow are you? You should be rather slow. 104, you're actually fast. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Let's just protect place one softly. We're going to protect you and we will take off your item here, Iron Hands. I'm going to take off your item because I think you would go for a Drain Punch into Ursula. Yep, there's Drain Punch. Cool. I'm going to be able to black that up. I might hard swap again. Really depends what we want to do here. I just want to waste out these trick and turns because if I can waste out these trick and turns, we can really get cooking. The knockoff's gonna take off his item, which is gorgeous. What you got cooking here? Get a clear amulet. Oh, so you weren't minus one on attack. I didn't even notice you had a clear amulet. So burn helps us out. Um, you only have a normal terror type. Could hard swap you into you. You do have a vest. I kind of want to hard swap both. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. I'd love to get Intimidate off here again. Definitely going to hard swap Ursaluna for Electivire. I try to keep that alive. Actually, I'd rather just sacrifice Ursaluna. Two turns left in Trick Room. Let's try to attack. Let's at least try to attack. I'd rather go for a Hyper Voice here. Just deal damage on both and then swap you in for Electivire. All right, so we got to play this one slow. Like I said, if we could waste out Trick Room and then... Get after it with our Electivire and Mirror Ride on. I think we should have a hot shot in this match, but they're playing this one nice and slow right now, especially with that Sword Dance helping out their uh, their Iron Hands early on here. Out comes the Drain Punch. Like I said, it's going to pick up the KO, and we're just sacrificing our boy. There's a sacrifice here. He's going to go back almost up to full HP. Um, probably going to drop a Psychic into this slot. And I have Assault Vest, which is good. So, how much damage is doing? Maybe 40? A little bit more. About 50. About 50. Okay. So, Burn chips up a little bit of damage. Uh, bump, bump, bump. I could bring back out Incineroar minus that thing's attack stat. Which I think is in our best interest. Because I want to I wanna be able to reset this electric train. I want it again. So, I don't want to force out my ride on here. So, I'm going to bring back out Incineroar. Um, we're going to Intimidate up. Which is good news. And we'll go from here. We shall go from here. I wish I could just, like, protect my boy here. I'm going to go for a knockoff here. We're going to chip up some more damage into Frigraph. And do I Terra and go for, like, a Terra Blast into Iron Hands? He's burned. I don't really see him doing a massive amount of damage. Hmm. Could double down to Frigraph. I'm going to double down to Frigraph. I'm going to get rid of Frigraph. I'm going to make sure this thing goes out. And he's going to end up Swords Hands, which is okay. I mean, I can Draco Meteor down if I want to. I could Terra Terra Blast next turn. He's going to end up dropping another Psychic in this slot. That's fine. Knockoff now flies. And then Wild Charge should finish you off in this terrain. Correct for Graph? Yeah, okay. So you're gone. So get rid of you. And no Trick Room is allowed anymore. So this thing's now plus three on attack. He's plus three. Terrain's gone. Um, hmm. Do I terror? Do I terrestrialize and terror blast his Iron Hands? I feel like it really depends on who they go into here. If they go into somebody faster than Electivire, we might not want to. It's gonna be Ursaluna. It's gonna be Ursaluna. Which, oh, man. Oh man. What do I want to do here? Knock off his item, and I think we go terror terror blast, or I could just go for an ice punch here and double down into Ursaluna. I mean, you might have the choice in Draco Meteor. Do we save our Terrastalization? I could honestly just Terrastalize Iron Hands here. Or Frigograph in the... Well, not Frigograph. Antinor in the Ghost. Which honestly could be good for us. Get, yeah, we're going to do that. And the brothers are so bulky. I'm going to double down to Ursaluna here. I'm going to double down to Ursaluna. I don't think Ursaluna protects. It's going to protect now, isn't it? It's going to protect now that I said that. So we're going to hit that terror button. We're going to go into Ghost because I do believe Drain Punch is flying into Incineroar slot. 
and we might. Oh, this is gonna be. This kind of sucks because the, the typing on them right now is good. Because my Miradon's gonna have to choice in Draco Meteor, and he does protect Ursaluna. That's the one thing we didn't need. You're probably going for Drain Punch anyway, so it's gonna be a neutral turn here. And I really, I really wanted you there, to not protect Ursaluna. Really wanted you not protecting Ursaluna. You know you might have been able to survive that, but I still didn't want you protecting there. He's gonna go for the Drain Punch, so it's a neutral turn. Nothing happens. And I was going to double down to Iron Hands too. But I was just like, Ursuline is looking like a threat here. Alright. So back to square one. Their final Pokemon's got to be Miraidon, right? So I think double down into Ursuline is just a, just a solid turn here. So I'm going to go Flare Blitz. I am going to go for that Ice Punch. Super effective shot. And he's going to Witch all Ursuline. It's got to be Miraidon, right? It's going to be Ogre Pond. Rock Ogre Pond comes out here. That's fine. Ice Punch now flies. Doing nice damage. And Flare Blitz going to pick up the KO. Cool. So Ogre Pond gone. No me ride on. That's odd. That's odd. And then what's our Iron Hands going for? Drain Punch to finish off Electivire? Yeah, that's fine. So now I can bring out my choice spec. Me ride on. And I can rip a Draco Meter to whoever I want. Which, to be honest, might have to be his Iron Hands. You might have to double down to Iron Hands, because Ursaluna could protect you again. It could protect you again. And Ursaluna's looking like a threat, because he does have Mind's Eye. He can Blood Moon this uh, Incineroar. And he can obviously use a Ground Move just to dump onto my Miraidon. Alright, so we get the Hadron Engine. Ready to go. The question is, does Draco Meteor pick up KO onto Iron Hands? That's the real question. I'm gonna double down into him anyway. Flare Blitz, right? Yeah. We'll go Flare Blitz and Draco Meter. Doubling down to Iron Hands at this point. Ursula to protect. It does not. Draco Meter. Pick up KO? It does. So you're gone. We get rid of you, no problem. Cinderwars or Ursula is looking terrifying right now. How much damage is Flare Blitz doing? He goes for Earth Power, which you're gonna pick up the KO, and it sucks because you outspeed my Incineroar. How dare you? And we're going to take some recoil damage to Flare Blitz. I don't even think this is doing half. Actually, you got Life Orb. How much damage are we doing? Here? Yeah, see, we're not doing nearly enough damage. Not nearly enough damage. Because now you can just Blood Moon me. Now you can just Blood Moon me. And I got to go for another Flare Blitz. Can you not have Blood Moon? It's a Terra Blood Moon. That's game. That's game. He's going straight into normal Terra for Blood Moon. How dare you. GG, Sword Pony. Good game on their end. We actually almost came back on that one. Which would have been awesome. I just feel like if that Iron Hands didn't have Sword Stance, which was so perfect for them, we probably would have had a better shot at winning this. But at least it still came down to the wire. They Terrasalize, they used Blood Moon. And Cinemore not surviving that one. GG to our opponent. Maybe in that last match, we should have attacked Ursula before Iron Hands. But to be honest, I thought it did have a hot shot at protecting. So we went after Iron Hands instead, and we ended up losing the match because of that. But hey, we're still 1-1. One one. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record going up against a Zassian team here in match number 3. With Amoongus, Raging Bolt, Incineroar, Urshifu, and last but not least, they do have Whimscott. So I do like our Electivire and Rewrite on here. They have no way of terrain control, which is pretty big for us. Um, they could end up leading Incineroar. That could happen, and I mean, he would intimidate my Electivire, which I do not like. Um, and in that case, I could just hard swap into Incineroar of her own. So I could go me ride on an Electivire and bring Incineroar in the back end. I could just lead my Incineroar, but there's a chance they lead like Whimsicott. Do I just lead Whimsicott? Yeah, because then I can always Encore. Actually, we can't Encore Incineroar. He's a Dark type. He's a Dark type, and this thing's Prankster. What do I want to do here? I think we still just go into Whimsicott here. I think we go Whimsicott. On top of that, we go Incineroar. I really want to go Incineroar. That scene could be a lead. Same thing with their Incineroar. Hmm. I can always will o -Wisp from these physical attackers. What do I lead me ride on? I'm going to lead me ride on. I'm going to bring Electivire and last but not least Incineroar. All right. Alrighty, one and one. It's time for a win record. I really want this win right here. The last match would have been an awesome win for us too. 
But that Ursaluna honestly protecting really saved it. Just I even said it too. I was just like, as long as this Ursaluna doesn't protect this turn, we should be fine because we were doubling down with Electabuzz, Ice Punch, and Flare Blitz, which should have done. It might have not KO'd, but it should have done at least like a huge chunk of damage, bring it like below one fourth. But they end up protecting on that turn. But they go Incineroar, they go Zacian, 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 whatever you want to call it, and I end up going with these two. So chances are they're just gonna fake out my my what's called. Oh, I didn't go Incineroar. Incineroar would have been greatly. Do I hard swap into Incineroar here? I might just want to hard swap into Incineroar here. I could just protect you if I want to, but I think hard swapping into Incineroar is our best bet. Just intimidating that. Lowering attack stat. I could honestly hard swap or meet ride on. So I'm just going to go for a Tailwind here. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go Tailwind. I'm just going to hard swap. Me ride on. And I hope that th they're faking out the Miradon slot, which I think is more... I feel like it's more likely, but they could go for the fake out take out with Behemoth Blade into Wimscott. But I like to tip it here, because I'm going to try to get off a burn on too. Zassian here. But we'll see a Terra pop out here early on. Is that going to be a stellar Terra? Is that going to be a stellar Terra? A ground Terra? Wow, that's a good way to counter the... Uh, that's a great way to counter the Miradon. And honestly, it makes me feel like you're going for a ground move here. But you're not. We get off the Tailwind. We get off Intimidate, which is great. And again, really just hoping to burn up onto this, uh, this thing right here. He goes for Sacred Sword, which almost kills me. That was scary. You get a crit, too, of course. Of course you get a crit. Luckily, I do have <clears throat> Incineroar's favorite item. Nice, lovely Citrus Berry. And Incineroar's going to go for an Aqua Fear. So he's taken off my item that I just used. So that's good news. And from here, we could just hard swap. I might as well just Moonblast. Look to chunk up some damage, and I really want to try to go for a burn. What's your speed sitting at now? I don't think you're out speeding that Zacian. I mean, I could fake out here. Even though Zacian's just going to protect. Oh, we want Zacian to protect. We want Zacian to protect. We're just going to fake out Incineroar here. We're going to go Moonblast. We're going to double down to Incineroar. Assassin's got to protect you. He does not. I wanted to protect so bad. I want to Encore it. It just stays on the field. He goes for Sword Saints. Alright, that's looking scary. That is not looking good. Now he's sitting here plus two. Oh, man. I think we just had to sacrifice our Pokemon. Let's be honest here. I think sacrifice our Pokemon's in our best interest. We'll go for another Moonblast here. We will go for a Will-O-Wisp to try to land it in his ass team. But, dude, what is up with us going up against Sword Stance users today? Sword Stance users is all over the field right now. All over the field. <clears throat> so, Moonblast connecting. Doing some decent damage. Getting a special attack drop. Doesn't really matter. And you're not outspeeding me. I didn't think you were, regardless. Zassian's speed sits at around 200. If he's going to do that, um, he's going to go for a party shot. Real question is, who do I bring out here? Electivire? It's gotta be Electivire, right? And then we double down to Zacian. Huh. We gotta bring out Electivire here. Good Draco Meteor. Urshfu's looking terrifying. Water Urshfu. I feel like I have to bring out you and just Draco Meteor. I feel like I have to. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I have to bring out you and just start Draco Meteor. Especially while we have speed. So, Mira, I'm going to rip a Moonblast. And I'm going to rip a Draco Meteor. I want to save Electivire for late game. Late game Electivire. Late game Electivire. Not bad plays on them so far. I should have just faked out the Zassian that, that turn. I faked out the Incineroar. Just stopped faking out, but I need I need some attack power on the field. I guess I'm just withdrawing Urshfu, which is fine. I mean, you can intimidate me. You're probably just going to protect Zassian at this point. Now you go into Amoongus, which still makes me feel like you're protecting him. You're not cool. So Drake Meteor flies. It's connecting big-time damage. KO Zassian. That's what we needed. 
That's exactly what we needed. Now we can have Moonblast fly. I can swap our Miraidon out. Um, they're probably going to go back into Incineroar, which I'm kind of hoping, to be honest with you. I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping that. Moonblast flies, does about negative six damage. And we do get a special attack drop. This thing is special attacking, by the way. My Tailwind's gone. I can reset Tailwind. I think they go back into Incineroar. And we have to go into Electivire here. We have to, because we have to reset this choice spec and, res and reset our uh, minus two special attack drop. All right, but they choose to go into Earth Root, which I do not like. That is something I don't like at all. That is something I don't like at all. So I'm going to set up a Tailwind here. We're going to grant some more speed for the squad, and we're pretty much forced to swap here. So we'll see what Amoongus goes into, because I'm kind of hoping it just like protects or something, just just so we can Encore, right? Same thing with you, Urshifu. I'd love for you to just detect or something. But he ends up just going for a Rage Powder here. I'm going to reset up our Tailwind, which is good news for us. The Tailwind back out here. We love it. And he goes for close combat in this slot. So you're going to drop your defense, and you get a crit. What is up with the crits, man? That's the second time you got a crit on me. It's the second time you got a crit, and I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. Just simply not a fan. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. Terrain ends. We're forced to bring back out Mubai on. That's so upsetting. That is just so upsetting. I bring out my Electivire. It should have soaked up the shot. We should have been able to at least get off a turn with Electivire, which I wanted to. Just Ice Punch this Amoongus. And now from here, I am pretty much forced to just go into a Moonblast here. And go into a Terra Electra discharge right i don't think they're ready for discharge i really don't i don't think they're ready for it i'm hoping they just go into another rage powder here i don't think they're ready for it that's so upsetting that's the second crit got today not a fan of it i'm just so not a fan of it it's fine i got my boy me right on here to back us up so me right on looking to clean up the mess here they have Incineroar as their final pokemon that's dealable i can i can deal with that i can deal with it i don't have protect which sucks He's just going to detect this turn. He's going to put me to sleep. Come on, man. Is this, is this how you play your games? You just put me to sleep. Now I'm going night-night, and that pretty much puts him in a perfect position to win this game. Unless I get a paralyze. Ooh, a para would be awesome. That did some damage. Give me the para. Give me the para. I para my whimsicott. <laughs> oh, we do get the para on Amoongus. Now, waste a turn out for Amoongus. I needed to waste that turn. I needed to waste that turn. If it wastes out turn, we win this game. Waste out turn. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Finally, some RNG on our side. Some RNG on our side. You could be Sash, so I'm going to double down into you. Actually, we might want to double down to Amoongus. Actually, I mean, we're KO and we should just protect Wimscott here. Protect Wimscott, go for discharge. That's a big time. That's a big time paralyze. That's a big time paralyze. So he ends up withdrawing Urshifu. He's going for Spore again. He's going to go into Incineroar, which we're just going to KO. So we're KOing Incineroar. This is probably smart because Amoongus most likely soaks up this, this discharge here. We protect Wimscott. We play it slow. We play it slow. He's going to Spore me. I know this for a fact. Discharge flying through. Incineroar gone. Amoongus, please die. Please die, Amoongus. Yes! Yes! We get a crit! The crit returns. The crit returns in my favor. I think we needed a crit to KO there. So they get two crits, we get one. They're probably complaining up a storm right now. Like, oh, Jeans is only winning because of crit. Like, nah, man. You got two crits. You got two crits. So, technically, you're still above me on RNG. Actually, we're tied because you, you, I did get a Paralyze. So, you get two crits, I get one, and a Paralyze. Hope that hope that evens out the match. But now we go Moonblast. We go for yet another Discharge. Um, as long as you're not Sashed, we win this game. As long as you're not Sashed. Cool. You're not Sashed. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one. We make a nice little comeback victory here in match number three.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen, another winning record onto the channel using Electivire and Miradon today. Now, we got to use Electivire a little bit, not too much, but Miradon obviously going to be the MVP of today's team. I still love this Electivire, though. Motor Drive, Ice Punch, Wild Charge, Rock Slide, Tire Blast. Got some value out of today's video. And then the rest of the team, just our solid meta Pokemon, Wimscott, Ursuluna, Incineroar, Prograph. Makes sense of why we grabbed ourselves a winning record, especially with this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.